Fallout launch, waiting for my football edition in line. Unfortunately, I didn't make it into first like I usually do. This gentleman here managed to crack it for me. He's got his pal here who's not buying. You'll recognise this scoundrel from other videos. He's managed to make it into third. And this gentleman who's made it into fourth, making me second in line. It's uh, 10 to 9. We're now finally starting to get some people, there's a good fight going, and we're all getting hyped. Scandal all that, so hopefully I can win a cool statue. And I'll give you a little guided tour. So there's the number one guy, there's his friend that's on the other eye, me that's second. You remember Lewis from other videos, this guy's the fourth, he's the fifth. And there's no Sean here, that's where someone goes These lovely people turned up, and then these guys as well turned up. So the crowd is building slowly but surely and that's just the height. So some of the staff have actually gotten dressed up and they're looking pretty shit hot. This is the deputy manager with his pit boy on and his his uh, fault duds. And we've got the mysterious stranger and the deputy manager has brought in his dog. He's got a dog meat. Last little bit of footage in the store. This guy came in costume and his costume is sweet as a nut. It's got the full fallout wrecking, it's got the shoes on, and his number is 108. His name's Gary. His name's Gary, and he's an awesome cosplayer, and uh, he should have won best cosplay of the night. Anyway, the next time you'll see me coming up is when I get home and I start the unboxing and showing you the little goodies that I got. That's me back in the house, ready to do the unboxing. It's not just a standard unboxing because I got lots of other little bits and pieces. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the bag for being first, but it didn't really contain that much more. All they had in it was a t shirt and two posters, although it was the same poster twice because I think the poster was reversible. A bit like the Destiny poster that you saw when I did the Destiny launch night, how it was the same thing on either side, just a different format. One was portrait, one was landscape. The, Pretty good night, met a lot of cool people. The guy who was first was actually quite an awesome dude, a friend of the old PSN. Met a couple of people who who uh, I hope are going to sub to the channel and if you're watching this and you the new subs, thank you, you're awesome. Uh, got a couple of new people on the Twitter, so yay, that's always lovely. And uh, it's right here behind me. I think we should proceed, don't you? So as you can see, the game bag is here. I'll dig out the extras first. Got a pit boy mask. Hello! <laughs> it's always fun. Uh, what else have we got in here? Oh yeah, I got this little deck of cards. So, Fallout New Vegas playing cards. Because after all, that's where. All the gambling goes down in the following number. Ah, uh, here they are. And to go with the, uh, the playing card, I got these little poker chips, which are also from New Vegas. There must have been some New Vegas stuff left over. That's the main event. Da 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 da! Put the bag aside. Oh! I did get a bobblehead. Let's do that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Almost don't want to. I don't want to tear into it because it's new and it's awesome. But uh, hey, it wouldn't be in a box an unboxing without unboxing the bobblehead too. Let's face it. So let's get into this puppy. Try and be nice and careful. Good job I don't bite my nails anymore. Nice way to get in. Gentle, gentle with the tape. Don't want to rip anything. I want to spoil the veneer on the lovely shiny cardboard. There we go, nice neat job. I like it to be neat. So I've not seen this myself, I don't even know quite what I'm getting. So Vault Tech Industries Bubblehead Charisma. Good. Let's see, come on. It's always tricky bit with these little flaps. You don't want them to tear. There we go. Oh, this is nice. So you're seeing this as just as I'm seeing it. Oops, turned round. Make sure I've got them the right way round. Oops. Oh, now 
this is nice. Yeah, that's going up somewhere, I think. That is very cool. <laughs> yeah, so put that back in the box now. So I'll decide where he's going to live. Because even though I like to keep collectibles in the collectible way, that's going to get pride of place somewhere off my shelves of cool things. And as you can see, game, they know me. They've written, Zen blokes, no touchy. <laughs> So let's get into this sucker. Right, bend back the flaps, bend back the other flaps, and shall we lift it out? Okie dokie, so put that aside. There, oops. Here she is. <laughs> So what have we got here in the back? It says, Welcome home, Bethesda Game Studios, the award-winning creators of Fallout 3 and Skyrim, welcome you to their most ambitious game ever, and the next generation open world gaming. Big words for Wingy, he loves the open world. As a sole survivor of Vault, of Vault 111, you enter a world destroyed by a nuclear war. Every second is a fight for survival, every choice is yours. Only you can rebuild and determine the fate of the wasteland. Dun dun dun! Pit, uh, the Pit Boy holds a very variety of smartphones and is ultim ultimately the accessory for the official Pit Boy companion app, which I've downloaded. Uh, allows you to manage your in game inventory, holotapes, and more. A very tasty app in the back. One player, network facilities, 40 gig minimum, dual shock uh, vibration functionality, uh, supports remote play, that's good. And it's an 18, so if you're under 18 and you've got this, <coughs> disagree with that. That's a lovely bit of print on the front, that tells me it's put by edition, PS4. It's a lovely slip cover on it, we shall slide this on gently. Oh, it's taped on. Silly me. Off comes the tape. Nice and neat. That's how I roll it. Tape on the other side? Yes, there is, but it came away in. This will obviously go back on, but not with the tape. Tape off that bit. Go. It's quite nice, nice neat packaging actually when you look at it. Right. Now, now, do I have to release these clips or? Yep. Ooh. Did you hear that lovely? That was nice. And. holding it down. Oh, that's a t lovely tight fit. <laughs> so, that's the main attraction. We'll get to that in a second. So, Pit Boy Operational Instructions. Oh, this is lovely. Look at all this. this is, oh, you'll have to have a proper look at that later. Oh, it's got some Meet Your Neighbours. Human eyes, auto machines, mutated fauna. Wow. That is actually pretty awesome. Put that back there. And that lives on top like that. And the main attraction. Ooh. Oops, and of course, it's a little stand. Pit Boy Model 3000. Mark IV, manufactured by Roboco Industries with a distribution by Vault Tech Corp, not for civilian use. Wow, look at this thing. Isn't that so tasty? All these little dials and everything. You know, it all turns and works and 
they do dial and power and stuff. Wow. <laughs> Obviously this is a bit where my phone will go if I decide to do such a thing. Which to be fair, I'll probably do it for a little bit and then decide I don't want to do that anymore. Wow, that's, that's actually metal. That's, it's cold to the touch. This thing's well made, man. Uh, in here it's got all the little thingies so that my phone can go in. Well, I think it's going to fit my phone because it fits an iPhone 6, it says. So if it fits an iPhone 6, it should fit a Z3. But look in here, it's all lovely spongy foamy inside. And a Velcro strap. I'm assuming this is some sort of Geiger counter here because I've seen in another video where this bit actually it comes out. I'm not going to mess with that too hard because I don't want to screw this puppy up. And I believe if I press here, is it there? Well, something like that anyway. There's a section out uh, here. Here it is. So if I pull that back. Supposed to be the bit that unlocks. Yeah, so that's how it unlocks by pulling that down there. There's a lovely big spring. You put your phone in there. And it's got all the stuff and it's the battery bit there, which we're not going to pull yet. No, 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 no. So pull back that bit, click that into place. And let's put this puppy on. Now, I'm right handed. So chances are I should probably be wearing this left-handed. Now, I have heard it said that this fits most human arms. I mostly count as a human, so sure, I should be grand. Give me a second while I lay this on my lap. Ooh, that's some strong Velcro, that's reassuring. Do this on my lap again. Hang on. Come on, work with me, pit boy. Work with me. There we go. Let's up the arm just a little bit. And there is one pit boy. That is actually quite special. So, get nice and close with that so you get a good look. Bit of weight to it, not mad heavy, but uh, it's not exactly a resistance weight, but it's not, it's not cheapy plasticky light. I mean, it's obviously made of plastic, but it feels quite substantial. You know, there's, it feels like there's actually something going on here. That is, that is rather lovely. So there you go. Well, let's actually open up the, the box and see if there's anything cool inside here. Now, it's not some of the leaflety stuff that I saw on some of the videos like from IGN and stuff, so they obviously got different versions because they're press. So let's see, where's the tear strip? It's always the fun bit. Where's the tear strip? I can see the tear strip, but I can't find the edge for the tear strip. Which means I will take this pencil and I will pierce the plastic, yeah, the pencil, so then that way I won't scratch anything. But well, the carbon is nice and soft, but hard enough to penetrate the plastic. Yum, 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 yum. Look at this. This is. This is a lovely steel book. Open her up. So what have we got here? We've obviously got the game, which is never the right way to whirl that around. Let's see what the art's like behind the disc. Oh, there's the armour in the garage. That's lovely. And we'll look at all the bits from inside. There's some more art. Yeah, there's the rest of the garage. Okie 
dookie. So what we got here? Um, okay, so we've got an advert for the season pass. Uh, advert for Doom, Spring 2016, Dishonored 2, and Elder Scrolls Online. Of course, that's already out. That there, behind all this stuff, we've got a Vault Dweller Survival Guide in Dane's Condition. That's basically just the controls for the game, but a useful thing to have and know, nonetheless. But here's the big bit. This is the Vault Tech map of all the perks. So basically, as you go through the game, you will unlock perks, and become stronger, better, and all that sort of jazz. And there's all the ways to go. So, when you get everything up, you can be incredible. So yeah, it was a good night, uh, money well spent. Met some cool people, got some cool stuff, got a pit boy. <laughs> I know I've put my usual rule of not buying stuff like this, normally only borrowing for these DLC, anything that makes the game more awesome, but not stupid DLC that just like extra outfits and sort of that. Just things that make the game better, but how can I pass up on a pit boy? So I've got my season pass. I've got my pit boy, I've got my steel book. I'm gonna put this puppy in the PS4, get it all loaded up, and uh, maybe even get a bit of a go of it tomorrow after work. Cause right now it's like quarter past one and this video needs to be edited. So I shall hopefully see a great many of you and hopefully you all enjoy this video and you'll go check out my other content and uh, yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, i shall close this video in the manner that i always do please remember to rate favorite comment share and subscribe and of course as always i ne bother